Today's crock pot meal is chuck roast or pot roast, whatever you want to call it. I'm using a chuck pot roast. It's about three pounds and I have it sitting over here because the first thing that I did was I took it out of the package, I threw a tablespoon of butter in my saute pan and I browned up each side of the chuck roast. That is totally optional. You can just throw it in your crock pot. You do not have to brown it up at all totally optional and you don't even have to saute up anything um, but if you have the extra time it took me on high heat less than five minutes to brown it up salt and pepper on all sides and then you're gonna put it straight into the crock pot what I'm doing I'm creating a little roux so I took a about half of a white onion and three stalks of celery and I just rough chopped it put in another tablespoon of butter in in uh, my pan and I'm just sauteing it up with some salt and pepper. Once these like kind of look like this, a little brown, translucent, I'm gonna throw in two tablespoons of flour and create a little roux. And I'm going to put in an entire um, 32 ounce thing of chicken broth. You can use water if you don't wanna use the chicken broth or stock. You can use beef broth or stock. I'm just going to use chicken, the reduced sodium kind, because that's what I have on hand. I'm trying to use up what's in my pantry, so that's what I have on hand. I didn't buy anything else. So once I do, once these get translucent, nice and golden, toss in two tablespoons of flour. The whole thing of chicken broth, I'm going to chop some carrots and throw them in there. Put the pot roast on top. Put this on top of the pot roast. I'm going to let that set five to six hours until the meat is completely like you pick it up and it falls apart so I chopped up probably 12 baby carrots or so I didn't have regular carrots just baby so I chopped them up salt and pepper and threw them at the bottom of my crock pot so now like I said I'm just taking a couple tablespoons of flour drizzling it over the vegetables if you guys could see there and I'm gonna cook the flour out a little bit and then add in my liquid and create a roux and all that does is essentially thicken up the gravy for later Now that I have that in there, I'm gonna let it come up to a half boil and to thicken up just a little before I add it to my crock pot. So I went ahead and put my meat on top of my carrots. I'm gonna let that set for a little while. Let this come up to a slight boil, thicken, and then I'm gonna pour it right over. So you could use fresh or you could use individual, but I'm just gonna put some of the organic no salt seasoning from Kirkland right on top of this. And I'm just gonna give it a good a good drizzle here. This has thyme, oregano, basil, garlic, carrot, celery. I mean, it has all kinds of stuff in it. We don't carry fresh herbs, so this is the next best thing. But if you have fresh herbs, definitely feel free to throw them in at this point. Okay, so I let it. I don't think I put quite enough uh, flour. I think I should have done one more tablespoon, so I'm letting it kind of evaporate a bit. <laughs> but once it gets to a roaring boil like that, um, you're going to want to dump it in your crock pot. I'm going to do this as safely as I can. And just dump it right on in. So once you have this, just kind of move the meat around to make sure the liquid gets all under there with the carrots and all in between the meat. Looks good. And then you're just gonna put that on low for five to six hours or until it's fork shreddable and you have a pot roast. So this is what it turned into after seven hours in the crock pot, like six and a half. And uh, we, that's Autumn. <laughs> Andres ended up shredding this up. And did you take the meat out and shred it first? No, I didn't. No, in here? Yeah. yeah, so this is what that pot roast looked like. And it thickened up really nicely. It looks good and we just made some white rice and serve it over top and this is what it looks like very delicious and very easy I will have all of the ingredients and all the measurements that I used for it listed down below another crock pot meal under the belt